My name is Dave. Thank you for taking a moment to watch. I'm going to explain to you what the snap nut is and how it works. This right here is the snap nut. This I've mounted to a piece of wood, but typically whether it's in your car or where you mount it, this is the three screws that you'd use or you can use tape. This half represents whatever piece that you're locking. This hole is molded into whatever product that you're using to lock. The two pieces mate together. You just push them. They're locked. To release them, you just turn it in either direction and it releases. And because it's six-sided, there's six different ways that that will line up and lock. To pull it apart, take about 150 pounds of pressure before this would actually break and give way, which is pretty strong for a piece of plastic. This was initially designed, I came up with it to hold my coffee cup. This cup that I use would not fit in a traditional cup holder in a car, so I was trying to come up a way with a way to mount this. So I decided to mount it, instead of holding the outside of the cup, mounting it from the bottom. You can see the hole in the bottom. So to drink your cup, this is mounted in your car, and you just push it, and that's it. It won't come off. I actually have these mounted on my snowblower. You can put it in your boat, motorcycle, ATV, and whatever you're in, this will not come off. And again, there's six ways that you can line it up, whether you're right-handed, left-handed, and it will release your cup. Another thing about this cup, when you're done drinking coffee, you can take this cup apart, and now it becomes your traditional cup holder, yet larger. So not only will it hold cans, but it will also hold the larger bottles. And if you go to a larger bottle than that, you just take this piece out, and now you have a very nice for one of the larger drinking. If you're going to drink one of these cups, or like a McDonald's cup, you put this back in, put it upside down, and now it holds your cup. Actually, it holds that quite secure. Now when you're done drinking your coffee and other beverages for the day, you just put that back in there. You put your handle back on. Push this right up. Push your coffee cup in. It's secure. So here's your coffee cup ready for its next use. The pieces that are involved in making the snap nut, when you purchase it, you will get the molds. I do have an extra mold that will make these mounting pucks so you can incorporate different items for your research and development. But these are the basic pieces. You have your base plate, you have the bottom half of the turning snap nut, you have your spring which is molded like this, and then you twist it before it's put in. That's put inside. Then this little piece, this little button, fits in there and that's for the sonic weld. You can weld that down. That holds this all together and then you snap your top piece on. So you can see that it's very few pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. The initial snap nut, when I come up with the idea, is right here. This is the first one that I built. And you can see when you snap that on, just like you've seen with the cup, and that's how it works. And when you turn it, now you can see what's actually happening inside. Take that piece off. And you can see it pushes on one half of the keepers. They split. When you're pushing something on, they go in even just like that, but when you're turning it to release it, only one half is moving, the other half is just being hid in this corner, but that's where it gets the energy to go back. So it's Ari's, once you've released whatever item's locked, it's Ari's ready to go on and lock again. These will work for thousands of locks, I've been using these for many, many years. They're not impeded by cold, heat, or water. Naturally, it doesn't like sand, but they can be cleaned. I've also taken an incorporated power, like in a smoke detector, for a direct wire. You can see I have the male and the female part. When you lock together, you can see the light. You take it apart, and the light comes undone. So that's another thing that you could do. You could use it for a fish depth finder in your boat or a compass. You can have this in your boat. Put your compass in there, use it for the day, then when you leave you don't have to unwire it, you just take it and go. Another thing that I've done is this one I really like is with a light bulb. 
These can be made different sizes. I only have the mold for that one size. So I had to use a small bulb, but they can be made to made larger. And so instead of using those three little screws, now when you change a bulb, you can just take this off, change the bulb, snap it back on. So if somebody is on a ladder or even outside, it makes it a lot more handy. I'll also include this. This is another one that I made and it's made to spin, but then you can release it. I'll just give you this. This could be used if you wanted to put on a toy where wheels turn, but then they're very easily removed. One thing that I've used these for quite a bit, I have them in my uh, utility trailer, and I also use these quite a bit in the garage, is storage jars. It's a one-handed storage jar. There's six ways to lock it. They hold plenty of weight, so you can use your screws in there. These I just made out of some cuts, actually, but these work really good. I've also taken one that I made and put a baffle in it. So after you've locked the jar and you dump stuff out, you have to shake it out as opposed to pouring it all out. But you can see, one-handed operation, if you need something, it works real good. So again, this is the snap nut. Uh, feel free to email me if you have any questions.